Hey y'all, it's Danielle. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a plus sized Shein clothing haul. And in this one, I got pieces that were comfy, cozy, easy to throw on and just really cute, but also like some things that are a bit more elevated and will kind of round out your wardrobe. So if you want to see everything that I got, just keep watching. So the first piece is gonna be the sweatshirt I'm wearing right now. It is so easy to throw on. It goes with so many things. Y'all, I'm obsessed this year with neutral colors like browns and beiges. And this just hits the spot for me. It's so cute. It's so effortless to throw on. And it's just, I just love wearing it. I've already worn it like two or three times. <laughs> so yeah, this is my jam for sure. I do want to give you guys a close up of the inside. It's definitely fleece lined. So it's very, very warm, very good for this time of year. You can see the stitching actually looks really nice, really nicely finished. And yeah, I really, really enjoy wearing this sweatshirt. And one other thing I want to flag for you guys is that I tend to have, I'm not a super tall girl. I'm five, six, but for some reason, I don't know if I have long limbs, but pants and um sweatshirts and sweaters i tend to have a problem with them being long enough and that is not the case with this this is definitely more on the oversized side and i got a size 16 so just for reference um but yeah so really enjoy this sweatshirt okay y'all we sticking with comfy cozy because that is my vibe lately <laughs> i have a hard time not gravitating to like hoodies and sweatshirts so if I can find like elevated streetwear I'm like yes <laughs> so I love this very very cute very oversized very comfy one tip I do have and I'm you know I'm not like the biggest fashion girly but um if you wear something tighter on the bottom if you're wearing something oversized on the top it kind of balance, balances you out so you don't look frumpy <laughs> so i just wanted to throw that out there if you will you know you're going to be wearing something super big on top definitely try to slim it out in the leg area just to kind of you know create balance in your outfit so next up is this half zip pullover and it's actually cropped which i love i love that about it it's so cute i like the fact that you can you know do a full zip if you want to you can go straight to the top of your neck yeah i would not <laughs> <laughs> I would not wear it like this, but it is an option. I really just like having it having it fully unzipped and letting, you know, the collar fall over. Um, I love the fact that it is adjustable around the waist. You can definitely cinch it in or you can leave it completely out. So if you wanted it to be more boxy, leave it um, uncinched. If you wanted to, you know, add some shape to it and make it tighter around your waist and maybe make it even shorter, you can definitely use the drawstrings that are included on both sides of this shirt or sweatshirt so that you can, you know, make it as short as you want, make it as tight as you want and give yourself the look that you're, want, that you're wanting to go for. So I love how versatile it is. I absolutely love that. And another thing I want to point out is that it is long enough <laughs> for me. It is long enough <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I struggle so much with finding things that are long enough to fit my arms. I am not even that long. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do not know why that is a problem, but it is <laughs> and with a lot of garments. And now we're repeating the brown one, but this time in black, same exact sweatshirt. The only thing that's different about this one is the color. <laughs> so once again, I really love having these kinds of things to throw on to go run errands or to just lounge around the house or go to the mall, stuff like that. Just something that I can throw on really quickly that's not going to take me forever. I don't have to think about it too hard. I can just throw it on with a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans and be out the door. I love this for me. And also I work from home. So this kind of stuff comes in super handy to look somewhat put together, but not necessarily dressed up because I don't have to dress up for work. So a sweatshirt like this, <laughs> like a really basic, Sweatshirt works good for me for work. So do sweaters um, and so do blouses if I really wanted to bring it up another notch, but I love this. <laughs> so I do want to say that I know everyone doesn't like basics that have things written on them. So I completely understand that. And if this is not your style, they do have some just basic basics without anything on them. So you would be able to find, you know, zip up hoodies, crew neck hoodies, and I'm sorry, zip up sweatshirts, crew neck sweatshirts. Actually, they are zip up hoodies, zip up hoodies, crew neck sweatshirts, and um, 
hoodie sweatshirts like pullovers that do not have you know so much stuff written on them so if that's this is not your style completely understand i like both i like to do you know sometimes just a plain basic sweatshirt and sometimes i also don't mind doing a little bit of writing or some kind of design on it so again if this ain't for you check shein for some basic basics with nothing written on them all right y'all it's time to get into some of the more elevated pieces and we're starting with this so this is a wrap top super easy to throw on like literally it's like a t-shirt <laughs> but i love the fact that it has kind of like a bell sleeve and it has this detailing up here that just elevates it even more and y'all tell me this is not snatching my waist it first of all gives the illusion that you have more going on going on up here than you do and it just it cinches in your waist because there's so much visually happening here it makes you look a little bit slimmer and it gives a little bit of a peekaboo without doing too much because i'm not somebody that's gonna wear like a full-on crop top well i would but like within reason you know and this is definitely for me is it falls within reason so this would be in my opinion so cute with some black slacks i think that would be so cute if you had some high-waisted black slacks a skirt would be really cute with this i feel like this is you have endless options of things to put with the top like this because it's so versatile and so easy to throw on even though it looks like you took way more time to get ready and put yourself together than you actually did it feels like a t-shirt but looks like you really put in some effort y'all the back the back of this shirt it's so cute i am obsessed with how it looks in the back so i tried both ways which i showed y'all i did both you know just tying it regularly just like knotting it twice and having the um the extra fabric just hang down and then i also did tying it into a bow and i like the bow by far like the bow is so freaking cute i feel like it just it's so feminine it's so like flirty it's this would be a perfect date night shirt but when you're like not trying to do too much you're not going to a high-end restaurant or anything you just really want to look your best this is going to do that for you <laughs> and this shirt comes in so many different colors and i feel like I need to go back and get more of them because this shirt is giving everything it needs to give. I absolutely love it, y'all. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm just so excited. Like, I'm really just sitting here trying to think, where can I wear this to? Like, maybe a date night, movies and uh, movies and dinner. I feel like this would be a perfect shirt for that. Yeah, endless possibilities. Definitely grab this. If you don't get anything else... <laughs> From this haul grab this because it's not just how the shirt looks but it's how it makes you feel like i feel very pretty wearing this and that is i don't know that just is the best feeling so get this one girl so speaking of putting this with the skirt i don't have on shapewear so let's keep that in mind okay be kind in the comments um this is really cute like i really like the way this skirt looks with this top and one thing i really really love about this skirt is that it is fully buttoned all the way to the bottom so you can really like reveal as much leg in this skirt as you want to so if you wanted to do like a thigh high boot and show this much leg you can <laughs> so i love the versatility of it you can really show as much or as little as you want you can bring the buttons all the way up to your panty line if you wanted to because that's your business you can do what you want to do so i just really really love how easy this is to throw on because it's a jean skirt it's such an easy basic but then also you can take it up a notch make it a little bit more sexy for like a night out or you could you know reel it in and wear it you know maybe only do one or undo one or two buttons at the bottom for like going to work or just have all the buttons buttoned. so it's really 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 easy to customize the look of this skirt and that is what I love about it the most. This is also a really good basic. This like I said would be good, would be really cute with some knee boots because it hits mid calf on me at least. I'm 5'6", so on you it might, you know, get a little bit closer to the ankle uh cuz it is fairly long, but on me it hits mid calf and I think it would be really really cute with some knee boots and then maybe a just take a, a few buttons, just undo a few buttons just to reveal a little bit of knee and a uh, lower thigh. I think that would be chef's kiss. <laughs> All right, y'all, another easy basic that you can just throw on. This is a faux turtleneck, or is that what it's called, a faux turtleneck? It's in the nude color. 
I am having a bit of trouble with the length of the arms, but that is a me thing. I don't think that's an everybody thing. <laughs> I have that issue a lot everywhere. I don't know, maybe I just need to stretch it a little bit to keep them where they need to be. Um, one thing I will say about this is, you know, there's really not m too much to say about it because it's a basic, but one thing I will say is that it is a bit see-through. So, you know, you would need to wear like a camisole or something under this if you're wearing a light color like this because I'm in like, I'm standing in front of the window and this is, you know, the view. So you can see a little bit of it. If you don't mind people being able to see the outline of your bra, then that's fine. It's not a huge deal, but I just wanted to like flag this for y'all so y'all can see that that is, you know, that is the case. I don't, I don't have any other colors, so I'm not sure if they perform exactly the same. And usually when you get different colors of a garment, they act a little differently because the fabric isn't always exactly the same from color to color. Maybe the dye reacts differently with certain colors. So yeah, just wanted to flag that. And then, y'all, yeah. <laughs> I got this overall. It's an olive green overall that I think this is actually the perfect top to wear with it if I'm gonna wear it. This is my first time trying this on, so we're gonna get a reaction together. Let's get it buttoned. Okay, girl, this is what it looks like. Let me back up so y'all can see the whole thing. Definitely giving mini skirt. Definitely has, you know, a good amount of stretch so you can get in here. Like, you're not gonna have trouble getting into this. And like, I'm of two minds about it. Like on one hand, I think it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the olive green on the other hand I feel like I'm like living out my sixth grade fantasies but <laughs> it's really cute drop a comment and let me know what y'all think about this dress below um it's definitely corduroy material it's very soft very flexible very easy to wear I think shapewear would definitely you know help with this particular garment because it's a dress you know, some shapewear would just kind of snatch you in a little bit or snatch me in a little bit. But other than that, I think this is a really cute dress. Like, I don't have any complaints about it. Knee-high boots would definitely definitely be cute. Also, like, some combat boots would be cute with this, I think. And then, like, a really cute oversized jean jacket or a trench coat would probably be cute. What would you wear with this? Like, let me know what you think would, like, go cutest with this outfit. So for this next piece, I'm gonna leave on this top. I went, to the, I went ahead and switched back into my jeans. And we're gonna go ahead and toss this jacket on top of this sweatshirt, or sweatshirt, yeah, I'm so used to saying sweatshirt because I tried on so many. We're gonna toss this jacket on top of this turtleneck. And this would actually be a really cute look just to drape over your shoulders or you could just wear it fully. So yeah, this looks good, both draped over your shoulders and wearing it like a normal coat, like I'm wearing it right now. I think that having the mock neck really kind of elevates it because it carries the look all the way from your neck <laughs> down to your feet. Um, especially if you were to put like some boots on with some like skinny jeans, I think this would be a super cute look and very easy and effortless to throw on because everything is coordinated and it just looks like you really tried. And that's, I feel like is the key to fashion and I fail at this so much but <laughs> um if you can choose things that are like basics but then like something that maybe has a print or maybe is not you know as average of an everyday kind of item it kind of they play on each other so like the way this is such a basic that you could wear any day with almost any pair of bottoms a skirt a dress uh, like the dress I just had on some jeans this would go with anything but then this doesn't necessarily go with anything, but like with this basic, it looks really, really good. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully <laughs> y'all understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this really does, I feel like elevate this really basic faux turtleneck. And y'all, this is very easy to wear and it doesn't, if you have like something about, if you are like claustrophobic when it comes to things around your neck, this is very, it's like t-shirt material. It's very soft and very like not constricting. So. <laughs> It's, I barely, I don't really, it's not tight around my neck. It's not sitting on my neck. So if like you have an issue with turtlenecks, this might be a really good like introductory turtleneck for you to wear because it's not, it's not like, it doesn't feel like a turtleneck. I can barely feel it around my neck. So 
yeah that is a really good thing and also with this jacket if you want to order it make sure you might want to size up if you have like big ham hock arms like me go ahead and size up because it's a little tight and a little bit constricting on my arms which i wish i could let out the arms because the rest of it fits really really well so that's like probably my only critique about this jacket um as far as the weight i'm actually hot <laughs> standing in it inside the house but it's essentially like a flannel shirt so the weight is not super heavy it's not super light it's gonna give you that like wool blanket flannel kind of feel it's not extremely thin but it's also not thick so just think of how like a flannel blanket or flannel, a flannel shirt feel. And that's exactly what this is. It's very soft. It's very like almost fluffy. Fluffy is not the right word, but almost fluffy. Like it has like that really soft blankety kind of feel. Almost like a fleece. I would say it's, it's similar to like a fleece, but without as much texture. It's, it's yeah, that's probably the best description I can give you. A flannel shirt, like a really nice high, high quality cashmere kind of flannel or wool. That's what it's giving that's what it's giving definitely like cas cashmere i do also like that it's structured and it's giving you more of a feminine silhouette versus like just a blocky chunky coat uh, this is definitely gonna give you a little bit more of cur it can show your curves a little bit more because it kind of goes in at the waistline versus just being completely flat and boxy everywhere so i like that too but overall this is a really nice coat i would say well, jacket, it's not a coat. It's not thick enough to wear in like zero degree temperatures, but if you're somewhere where it's not too, too cold outside, or if you just want something to wear like around your office, if it's cold in there or wherever else you may be, or you're, you know, going shopping and you just want to have something, a second layer to wear into the mall or something like that from your car, if you're not going to be outside for a really long time, <laughs> I think this is perfectly fine. Like where I am, I would wear this in the winter to like run from the car to the mall. And in our winters, we're typically at like 20, 30 degrees on a cold day. And I would not hesitate to wear this. Just, I just wouldn't stand outside in it. <laughs> okay, y'all, last thing. It's a bonus item. And it is a three pack of these pajamas, y'all. First of all, I do have a bra on because I'm on camera and I'm not about to go to sleep. It's actually morning. <laughs> I did not like go braless because I wanted to keep this video decent. But, um, girl... The stretchiness of this, like it stretches everywhere. If you are big busted, you will not have a problem getting into this. This this is gonna give you enough space, like enough fabric, enough stretch, enough space to get your full body into it. <laughs> I got my normal size and if there's just a ton of stretch everywhere, it's gonna be so comfortable to sleep in this. And y'all, like I said, this is a three pack. So I'm obsessed with this like bluish jewel toned type of color. Definitely in the turquoise family, but along with this one, it also came with a white set and a black set. So this is the full three pack. And I want to say this was like $15, maybe 20. Like it was not a lot at all. You could easily pay, <laughs> easily pay $20, $30 for one set like this, if not 40, 50. So three of these for like $20 is not that much. And I might be highballing that price it might be lower than that so not only did i get this three pack but i also got a second three pack that is the same thing but it comes with like this rosy mauvey pink which i think is very pretty y'all when i tell you that this is going to be so comfortable to sleep in and like to have a, a few sets of these pajamas like when you go somewhere to a hotel or something and you just want to look a little bit more put together a little bit nicer this is gonna be great for that. And also just for being around your own house, creating a more luxury feel in your own house and kind of elevating your sleepwear and romanticizing your life. Because <laughs> things like this that not only look good and have a luxurious feel to them, but also like the actual, the fabric actually feels good and high end and they're comfortable and you know, you just feel pretty in certain things. And this is one of those things. And this kind of stuff really helps to make you feel better about where you are and what you're doing so if you know you know like romanticizing your life is a real thing and this will definitely help you do that <laughs> so yeah i highly recommend this set and once again for the big busted girlies girl you're gonna have plenty of space in here i'm a d d cup and you can see that there's a ton of just extra space for 
all the boobs. So you will not have an issue with this. <laughs> so that is everything I got from Shein. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what your favorite piece was down below in the comments. And everything will be linked down below. Shein has a ton of stuff. So if anything that you saw today was not your cup of tea, make sure you check them out for some other items that you might like better. But again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.